Hey guys, it's Siobhan. Welcome back to my channel. So I decided, because in the spirit of change, that I wanted to sit down and discuss my locks with you and I guess do like a bit of a lock update. So if you didn't know before, um, about two years ago, I guess technically three from the starting process to when I cut them off. No, two. Two years ago, I had locks and I grew them out to a little bit longer. I'll insert a picture somewhere over here. And it got to the point to where I wasn't happy with me. So I'll walk you through that little bit of a journey and then I'll explain me now. So in the past, I was very dependent on other people's opinion of me. And you'll notice as I'm talking, like when I'm talking about certain things, my shoulders are going up and forward because it's kind of a defense thing. And I'm trying to combat that because I can see it on my camera. But so a few years ago, I was dating somebody that I really, 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 really wanted to like, love and accept me. I went so far as to get baptized to try to win this person's approval. And if you don't know, I am not a huge advocate for the Christian faith. It just doesn't fit with me. But to try to be this person's end all be all, want to be with this person because I was really afraid of being alone, I went that far. Um, I also, and this was actually after we had broken up, but so I like got this person's permission in order to lock my hair. I was like, hey, um, I'm thinking about, you know, starting dreads. Would you be okay with that? Like when I had cut my hair into a taper fro, hey, I'm thinking about getting my hair cut. Would you be okay with that? Like I constantly needed this person's approval and I think that's why I went as far as I did. But so even after we broke up something still felt wrong to me i we broke up in i want to say november or december january we were talking again like oh we're gonna make back up kind of sorta but things were weird the thing around my 23rd birthday happened and i felt really bad about myself and i think i internalized that situation into my hair and so from there, even though I was like, you know what, I'm done. I blocked his number. I still every now and then saw him up until I got baptized in August, but I'm done. Like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. And it was starting to be to where I was going around to make my point known. Like, you know what, you didn't break me. But then eventually I was like, I don't need to do that either. Like, I'm good. At least in here I felt good, but I still felt like I was carrying around that I'm not worthy, sad, lonely, I need his approval energy. And so eventually in October, I chopped my locks off at work. So I went to work at 11 o'clock at night and I still had locks. And when I left at seven in the morning, they were gone. And it surprised the hell out of some of my residents because some of them actually saw me come into work at 11 and they also saw me leave at seven. But I cut them off, tossed them in the trash, and moved forward. It was just a very freeing experience. Now, fast forward about a year as I grew my hair out, I was going through changes personally for me. So as y'all can see, I'm very clearly comfortable in my skin now as I've got cleavage going on and, and chest. And before, like, I would dress the way I thought other people wanted me to dress. So if I went out with female friends, I would let them choose my outfits. And for me, I've kind of grown to accept who I am. And I think that was one of the reasons why I decided to come restart this journey, come back to it, whatever you want to call it. I said, you know what? Up until I had the whole constantly feeling drained and negative energy thing, I did enjoy having locks. So hmm, maybe I'll revisit that. And as I was going through deciding, you know, what I wanted to do, I'm like, you know what, I want to full on be plant based by my birthday next year. So by the time I turn 26, I also want to finish school and get my bachelor's. I want to go ahead and do yoga teacher training and become a yoga teacher. I want to do health coach training. Like I trust me as I've like, I have an idea of where I want myself to go. And in that evolution of deciding and, you know, asking my Oracle decks and asking my higher power and just 
trying to figure out where I meant to was meant to go I kept thinking you know certain things might be I hate the term a little easier if I had locks all over again you know because I'm having a very hard time trying to fit doing my hair into work because I work at like a weird time and it takes me a little while to do my hair and wash and goes are not my friend so you know things might be a little different if I went ahead and relocked my hair I also feel very different now personally than I did there's a dog in the backyard next to me I'm next to my window sorry y'all like I feel different personally before I constantly wanted approval to be able to do certain things and I always felt like a bit of an outcast or an alien or whatever you want to call it because you know nobody really accepted me for who I was and now looking back at it some of the things that I used to say back to my mom now she's like oh you know what you're you're right before my mom thought you know me being really spiritual and and, and wiccan with the crystals and everything like that she was like mm -mm, no 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 mm -mm, she wasn't for it but um in the past like year or so she was like hey um don't look too much into this but if i wanted some like crystals or something to help with uh negative energy and negative people what should i get and i'll let you believe this 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 this, this. And she's and a couple other things she's like can you get them for me sure mom I, I need an excuse to go buy some more crystals anyway so i went picked my mom up some crystals cleansed them of you know my temporary energy and next time my mom came to visit here you go mom i got you stuff i even got you a book on them like so for me just to finally have at least a little bit of acceptance it's from my mom especially helped but it didn't change the fact that I knew what I wanted to do like even th with the yoga teacher like I, I know where I want to go same thing with my boyfriend when we actually met we met one semester we started dating the second semester first semester we met I had locks the second semester we met they were gone so he knew what I looked like so I was like hey I'm thinking about relocking my hair he said okay that's it that was it and it wasn't to get his approval it was just to let him know that I might look different the next time you see me and I felt really good and I still feel really good and so I, I don't know why I'm making this video super long because it's already like seven minutes but I just feel so happy and it feels so different to feel the way I am now compared to where I was two years ago and so now I'm I believe about five or six weeks into my journey I believe six and just what I'm doing with my locks is very different I'm more a more positive person overall but I'm also just trying to you know what is the word I'm looking for I'm taking care of myself and my hair differently like I said I want to go plant-based now I realize going cold turkey is not for me so now I make sure I'm getting you know three to four days of plant-based eating plant-based meals eating into my diet where that's three to four days out of seven that I'm eating nothing but you know lentils chickpeas rice seitan I, I don't know why that just sounds weird to say but you know I've changed up now then there are certain days where I did not bring anything to work my grandmother will text me hey you hungry I'm like hey can you get me food from here there's no vegan or even vegetarian I think there's slightly vegetarian restaurants in my area but I know she's not going to them so I stick to where I know she'll go and I'll pick the chicken off or I'll just eat it whatever but so just me feeling better and who I am and who I want to be and where I want to go I think is helping and I know I'm working on you know getting my energy to flow better so as I do that then of course I'm gonna feel even better as I go through my journey but I just feel so much better whereas before my lock journey the first time I waited until after my first retwist I believe to wash my hair this one I said week three okay Nan I'm stealing your I'm stealing your stockings I'm not gonna cut them up I'm just gonna tie them in a knot and I washed my hair and then afterwards I had a little sit under dryer I friends with my loctician on Facebook I said should I let him air dry or should I sit on dryer? he said dryer I said okay like I'm, I'm more confident in what I'm doing and I don't feel like I'm stumbling around super lost and also now I'm doing something that I didn't do with my previous lock journey but also because I wasn't doing this in my previous lock journey is I'm using essential oils with my locks 
specifically uh, lavender, sandalwood, and occasionally lemongrass, and that's because those are the ones that make me feel good and enliven me. Frankincense is like one of my absolute favorites. It's actually in my necklace right now. It's um, aromatherapy necklace, and I also rub it on the back of my neck and put it through my hair. It's just something that soothes the inner me. Uh, lavender, again, very relaxing for me. Lemongrass is one of those ones that I use because one, it kind of gives me like a tingly feeling if I put it directly to my scalp to like, you know, stimulate my scalp. I'm pretty sure uh, tea tree does that too. And also peppermint, I use peppermint around my edges. But um, I just, everything that I'm doing, I feel better about. And maybe I'll sit down and do like a full on like, after I get my first retwist, cause I still haven't had that done. And there's certain things that I'm not comfortable doing myself yet. I could probably retwist the middle of my head, but like around the edges in the back, mm -mm, nah. So maybe after I do like my first, have my first retwist done, I'll sit down and do like a locked updates video, show y'all what I'm using and all that. But I just wanted to share this journey with you guys because I'm just really excited. And I did this journey for me. And then afterwards it clicked with me that like a lot of the green beauty people that I follow, at least as far as people that are African-American, black, whatever, in in green beauty, all have locks. So Zuzu Natural and Keisha Dinkra and Kai Journey, those are like the three gurus that I really follow or gurus to me anyway, they all have locks. And I was like, ah, now I'm part of another community. So I'm gone from being, you know, holistic living and green beauty to being a black woman in green beauty and holistic living to being a black woman with locks in green beauty and holistic living and I like that I like being part of another community that can be really close-knit if I actually reach out and talk, talk to people but so that's going to be the end of this video I'll talk to you guys next time bye